Okay, so this is a video I already took. I couldn't think of an easier way to do this. I've already taken this video. Um, however, the sound quality is terrible, so I'm doing a little voice over here. So you're going to have to bear with me. I might accidentally jump ahead of something, and I do apologize. So here's long division. In this problem here, we have the dividend 737 divided by the divisor, which is on the outside of our house. Now, in just a second, what will happen is you will see me have my sticky note here. And remember, this sticky note is questions that you will constantly ask yourself throughout your division problem. So the first question is what times blank will get me close to or below blank? The second question, after you ask this and answer it, you will say what that number times the other number equals what? Now these letters down here stand for divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and remainder. The remainder is at the very, 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 very end of your problem when you don't have any more numbers to bring down and you have no holes in your roof. That is when you use it. And you will probably use your sticky notes so much that it will be so stuck in your brain you don't even need to use it anymore. Okay, so after you get ready for your problem, you put that multiplication sign at the corner. That's step number one. Step number two is you need to draw your lines to separate your places and your digits. After that, you're going to ask yourself, these holes, they have to be filled in. You must put something up there because just like if you had holes in your real roof at your house, you would ask yourself the question like, what, how did they get here, why are they here? And so those questions over here on that sticky note are those questions you're asking yourself about how the holes got there. But you need to patch them up. And you need to remember that you have to patch up this hole, then go work down here and subtract. Then patch up this hole and go down and work. Because if you're working already down here below your dividend, then you're ruining everything, all the beautiful work you did in your kitchen and your bathrooms and your bedrooms and everything. So always start in the roof, patch up the hole, and then work your way down. Now, I'm going to try to see if I can get my little hand out of the way here. Sorry. So now what I'm saying is that you need to place a number here. You first need to write out your facts for your number two. But once you write out your facts, you're going to ask yourself, what times two is going to get me close to this number seven? Exactly seven or below it? You can never, ever, ever go over that number. And so hopefully I'm about to get ready to write my twos facts. Okay, write out your twos. And now you look back. You say, okay. Blank times 2 is going to get me what? That will be close to 7. Look over at your facts. And you know that 6 is very, very close to 7. You can't use 8 because it's over it. So you look at 6 and say, I want to use 6. But before you can do 7 with a 6 under it, you have to fill in this patch. You have to, or you have to patch it up. You have to patch, have to repair the hole. So you put the number that you multiply by 2 in order to get the 6. And so, you want to choose that. I'm telling you here, you just want to ask yourself the questions. What times 2 will get me close or below 7? Now, look back and you notice, hey, 6 is the greatest choice. It's the best choice. And so, you have to think, what times 2 is going to equal 6? And you put your 3 up top. Now, this is mom's job. Remember that multiplying. So, you do 3 times 2. Is what you're asking yourself that second question three times two equals what and you put it under the number you're trying to get close to right now we only are trying to get close to seven so I do six now I always divide dad always works mom just multiplied up top that's what she's doing that three times two now it's sister's turn she subtracts so I do seven minus six and I'm gonna get one now it's brother's job, and he's going to bring down that three. Now, I'm going to pause here. A lot of you are having trouble with this step right here. You are. You see that one in front of the three? That makes that 13. A lot of you guys are looking at just the number you brought down, and you're saying three. That's the only thing I need to get close to. I want you to squash it and get that out of your brain because it's not true. You need to be getting close to this whole number here, 13. Not just three, 13. So now you go back and you're asking yourself the same questions because you can't do R because you still have two holes in your roof. So 13. What times 2 will get me closer below 13? 
And so you look back over at your facts and you see, oop, 10 kind of close, but 12 is even better. So I'm going to choose 12. And I know what times 12, what times 2 will give me 12. And I know that's 6. So you ask yourself the second question. 6 times 2 equals what? And that's the number that you want to put under 13 so that you can subtract them. So dad's always working. Mom just multiplied 6 times 2 when we got 12. Now it's sister. So she's going to subtract. 3 take away 2 is 1. And I know 1 minus 1 is 0. You know that 0 is a placeholder. It's not necessary. But if you want to put it there, go right ahead. Now I'm going to say, oh, I'm done. No, 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 no. Not done. Got to fill in the hole for the roof. Got to. So I know I have to bring the 7 down. And again, we're looking at 17, not 7. So I go back to my question. What times 2 will get me closer below 17? So I look back over my facts and I see the best choice for me is going to be 16 because 18 is a little bit above. So I have to say what times 2 is going to give me that 16. Think about your facts and count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 16. 18 is too far, so I'm going to use 16. And I know 8 times 2 is what it's going to give me 16. So 8 times 2 is 16 because I asked myself that second question. And now I already done it. Dad's always working. Mom just multiplied 8 times 2 to get 16. And now sister is going to subtract those two numbers and she gets 1. Now brother, go check and make sure he doesn't have any more jobs. He doesn't because there's no numbers left to bring down. Look up top, make sure your roof has no more holes. Very, very good. So then you know that this number down here, 1, is your remainder, not only because it's left over, but because it is less than your divisor. So the rat's going to grab it up, take it to the top of the attic so that he can enjoy it later. So now we have remainder 1. And remember, that's a mini capital R. So now, what I want to show you is that this is how you write it. Remember, it's not 368R1, 368, remainder 1. And before we end this video, I want to show you how you can check yourself, okay? Remember that when you check yourself, division and multiplication are just the opposites of each other. So now you just go through and you're going to multiply. And I already did. Sorry, I'm kind of ahead here. 8 times 2 is 16. Carry your 1. Now I'm doing 6 times 2 plus 1 is 13. Carry that 1 up. 3 times 2 plus 1 makes it 7. Now if you look up, this is 736. Our, div our dividend up there is 737. But you have to remember, anytime you have a remainder, you need to add that back. After you multiply and check yourself, add it back. And we should get our final answer, and our quotient should be correct. We do. We get 737. Beautiful.